What's up carnivores, Dan Delaney here. Happy New Year to all of you out there. Instead of putting out a regular episode this week, we thought we'd take a look back at what we've done. So here are the best nine moments of 09. All right, we're gonna kick it off with the most gluttonous moment in Vendor TV's history. This is the poutine eating contest from the Potato Champion episode in Portland, Oregon. Take a look. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so this is the best quote of 2009. It came from a guy named Miles who we met on the street at our second ever episode, and uh, he's talking about smoking drugs and eating burritos. Take a look. I wake up at 11, smoke a little hydro, get over here by 11.30. But today it's a little, you know, it's a little, uh, it's a little cold out, windy, you know, scares all the white people away. Up next is our most revealing moment in Vendor TV history. It took place at the Hallo Berlin cart in New York City, where Uncle Rolf told us how the Germans liked to have sex. Um, sadly, Uncle Rolf passed away a few months after we filmed, but our hearts are with him. Enjoy the clip. Germans like it spontaneous. Do you? Yeah, when I have sex, you know, it's either in the kitchen or in the storage room, or sometimes we do it on the beer, on the beer barrel. Right on the beer barrels? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you crack them open? No, not the beer barrel. I crack some of them elsewhere, ah. not the barrels. Yeah. All right, so this is the craziest card of war ever. It was this woman at the Magic Carpet in Philadelphia going crazy about vegetarianism and the benefits of eating at that cart. Take a look. There's the Magic Carpet, and it's almost like you're flying around the world, and whatever he feels like he cooks that day, and I'm always interested in it because he makes wonderful curries. And the thing about it is, it's ergonomically, economically, and Earth Day, this is great. Yes. Everything about it is wonderful. Yeah. And then he serves it in a paper bag, no plastic, and everything is good for your health, and it's good for your heart, and it's wonderful. Yeah. And people who eat vegetarian food, they have better disposition. They're lovely. They're wonderful. Your They're loving. It's great. Right. Right. Yes. It must be working. You want to be like me? Eat at the magic carpet. Yes. <laughs> you don't want to be on Craigslist. You're putting all this information. Oh, are you listening? No. You're not. You're not filming this. Yes. No. Take that out. No. We won't no. That. We won't put that out. No. All right, guys, I know I'm pretty disgusting. The food's always all over my face, but there was this one moment which was ridiculously nasty, and that's when my guest, Gary Vaynerchuk, decided to pick up chicken that dropped on 49th Street and shove it into his mouth. This is the most repulsive moment of 2009. <laughs> it's gonna be a battle here. I missed them. Nice. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh my god, he did! So disgusting. I eat dirt with Conan on TV. You think this scares me? Do we just ate that all before? Yes! You are my new favorite person. That is awesome. All right, so this is our most impossible moment of 2009. It took place in our fancy fast food episode, and the idea was to make two fezes magically appear on our heads like this. But it was really hard to do. Take a look. Well, you got all this anyway, right? Okay. <laughs> Three. <laughs> You're doing the Scooby Doo. So we've had a lot of great guests on the show, but the funniest, by far, was when Jake and Amir of jakeandamir.com 
hit the streets with me and we visited the Papa Peroni's truck in New York City. Take a look. Hey, I'm Dan Vendor TV. Sorry, God, I'm so sorry. Vendor TV, oh my He's God. He's counting down from three, two, one. He hasn't even started yet. Hi, I'm Daniel Delaney. You're, let him do his thing. Sure. Vendor uh, TV, right? Vendor TV. Did you mess up a little too? And we're gonna have some amazing college food. Vendor TV, sorry. That was early, that but was I said it right. Wrong. Hey, Hi. I'm Dan oh Delaney, and I'm traveling the world <laughs> tasting the best street food around. I'm here with my buddies today, Jake and Amir of jakeandamir.com. I'm not going to say anything. And we're, we're having fantastic, fantastic college food pizza. Am I ruining it? Only on... Vendor TV. On, on Vendor TV. Vendor TV. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was the worst one yet. You can edit around that. All right, so the next one's personal. It's my personal favorite moment in Vendor TV's history. And it took place at the cart Moxie RX in Portland, Oregon. I was having a horrible day, and Nancy, the owner, turned it around. I even got to feed this stray dog. It was great. Take a look. It's just a great, fresh take on really classic ingredients. All food should be like this. This is just, it's stellar. <laughs> Do you like that? What's going on there? Good cheesy bite? Yeah. See, he's speechless. All right, our final category is best bite of 2009. We couldn't narrow it down to one, but we got it down to three, and we want your help deciding which is the best. Here are the contenders. Number one is the Brunch Box Redonkadonk Sandwich. So this is the uh, Redonkadonk. It's, it's their take on a burger, and it's just ridiculous. It's, uh, look at this. We've got two pieces of Texas toast, lettuce, tomato, burger, there's Spam there, bacon, an egg, and cheese, fried onions. It's, it's really crazy. Really good. The Bistro Chuck's Mortadello Burger. Two burgers. We got a fried egg, mortadella. There's some uh, American cheese on there, caramelized onions. Their uh, their own sauce, which looks to be like a, sort of like an aioli, plus like lettuce and tomato and everything else. Let's give this a shot. Oh my god. It's the egg. Big bite, Laura. Big bite. No, that's big, big, big. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got the whole mortadella. What do you think? It's really, really good. It's really good. Or Speed's Dog's Hot Dog. All right, so this is the legendary Speed's Hot Dogs. This thing is massive. To show you how big it is, I've got my iPhone. Look at this in comparison. It's ridiculous. Here's what we got. Quarter pound all beef hot dog, natural casing. They first soak it in this brine of apple juice with brown sugar and a bunch of spices. They throw it on top of the grill. They grill it along with the bun till it has this nice char sort of taste to it. Then they slice it open and they cover it with homemade mustard, homemade relish, homemade barbecue sauce, homemade chili, and fresh cut onions. All right, it's time. <laughs> There's so much going on in this bite. So let me know what your favorite food bite is by posting a comment below. I hope you and your family have a really safe, healthy, and happy 2010. As always, I'm Dan Delaney, encouraging you guys to eat the street. See you next year. Hey guys, Dan Delaney. <laughs> and we're going to have dumplings. So feast on this, Vander TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jamaican D's is where I is. Can I get a wipe? Wipe me. Dana Coronado. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Tamales during Christmas. I make mine more real and more original by adding ketchup. So I'm weird. You never hear about tamales with ketchup, but you know, that's how I make mine taste better. That's a real treat.